Hello, Klaas here, Phantasmagoria of Flower View. Um, I'm just gonna show one character in story mode, on easy mode, because I'm kind of a noob. Um, yes, characters have a variety of stats. Um, I'm gonna call the scope the shadow zone, just because I know I won't ever remember to call it scope. So, when you see scope's style, that's it. Everybody has, like, one special thing they do that's just unique to them. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and everybody also has, like, a charge attack and an EX attack, or calls it extra attack. I'm obviously on the English patch. Uh, I'm a bunny! <laughs> uh, suddenly thinking of Link to the Past. Yeah, this is actually take two. I played uh, Raisin or Ryzen the other time. Okay, so I can move, I can shoot, I can charge up. If I have more charge at the bottom, I can charge up more levels. It'll still do the charge attack from level 1, but it'll also clear a ring around me based on how much I charge up, and it'll also send something over to the other side. If I charge up to level 2, it'll be something involving white bullets, which you'll notice can be destroyed by exploding something next to them. Um, yeah, if I activate slump... Oh, no, I should continue explaining charge attacks. Uh, level 3 will be a better attack, obviously, that um, doesn't involve any white bullets. And level 4 will send over a boss. Well, it'll send over, like, a copy of me. A spirit projection or something. I don't know if it's ever actually explained. Yeah, level 2 is called Class Fairy. Level 3 is Class Witch. And... Yeah, level 4 is Class Dragon. Um, there can only be one dragon out at a time. Oh. Yes. And it's the early levels, so I'm just gonna win really quickly, and it'll interrupt my explanations. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and those, like, snowflakey things that get sent over are EX attacks. They're just kind of automatic. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I was going to explain Shadow Zone. When you activate slow mode, which also displays your hitbox and makes you slower, um, your Shadow Zone deploys. Whenever you hit a spirit, one of those colored mustache looking things, um, it becomes a circle. It lowers its defense and causes it to actually explode properly if you kill it directly. Normally, if you just shoot one down, it won't do that. However, um, if you leave one a circle for too long, it will, like, shoot bullets at you. I think I can demo that. Oh, I, or can I also just be awful? Wow. Oh yeah, getting hit also gives you charge meter. <laughs> oh, wow. Good thing I was not paying attention in an early stage. Um, oh yeah, one thing that's important with the English patch is to actually install the font that comes with it. That way, um, you don't end up with this blocky monospaced font that makes text run out of the box a bunch. <laughs> Not that I would ever forget that. Um, yeah. See. Um, this is the game which originated the, um, Nine Idiot meme. Because, um, on the, in the instructions, in an explanation of the game screen, it had, like, a bunch of labeled parts like you would expect. And when they labeled Kerno, the computer player, on the other side, or maybe second player, it's not really clear. Um, actually, I think it is, because you had lives, and you only have lives in story mode. So yes, it's the computer player. Um, instead of saying computer player or something normal, like how it said one player on yourself, it just said idiot. And it happened to be the ninth labeled thing. Um, 
Okay, um, the two, well, four really, numbers on the screen that aren't really obvious in their purpose are in the lower left and lower right of each person's screen. The lower left indicates my current spell level. Every minute and every time I cast a level 2 or level 3 spell, it goes up by one. And... Um... Yeah. It makes your level 2 and level 3 spells more powerful. So see, now, I, now it's at 2. And then the lower right one is your boss attack level. And that raises not only when you use a boss attack, but also when your opponent uses one. Which is interesting, I guess. Um... Oh yeah, one thing to note is that when you use a charge attack of some sort, it costs one less than the actual level of the charge attack, so level one charge attacks are free and stuff. Yeah, you can't- oh, nice! You can kill the bosses and they drop a thing. That was gauge, it fills up your gauge entirely. Oh yeah, I also do have a quick bomb button that consumes all your gauge, but is instant. And you don't get the um, one level discount, so if I only have charge level 2 when I use it, it only uses charge level 2. I don't think you can quick bomb if you only have one. Tay's power is actually that if you're at a half yin yang of life and you take another hit, it'll quick bomb automatically, but only once per battle. Also, um, if you have more than half a yin-yang of life, and you take a hit, you can never be killed. You can only be reduced to one half, and then from there you can be killed. Uh, let's see... I think I've basically explained everything about the game now. You're ready to win! <laughs> um... I don't know, I guess I could say that I like favoring level 2 charge attacks, even though it gives them white bullets to counter because you can raise your spell level for just the price of one. And then later in the match, I like to use level three stuff. Usually, like... Oh yeah, because um, one thing I did miss is that if your combo count reaches like certain values, you'll get a free boss attack. And so right after one of those, if I have full gauge, I like to release a level three and then a level two, and it just murders people. It's great. Yeah, so using level 2s is an aggressive style that I'm not actually sure pays off, because the white bullets you give them to counter help their combo out and stuff, and it might end up being that they get enough gauge back for it that they win out, but I don't think it's that serious. I think you do end up getting to raise your spell level faster if you're using level 2s and they're using level 3s. Ow. That was dumb. Yeah, I don't know what exactly determines how much damage you take. I think it's related both to the attack that hits you and how long the match has been going on. I think you take more damage if the match has gone on longer. Um, oh yeah, um, when you send a white bullet over, it promotes from blue to red. I don't know what happens to red ones, actually. I feel like I should. Um, oh dang. Oh dang! Yeah, Lily is killable as well. Yes, I wanted that. No! Oh yeah! my quick bomb automatic. Of course now I've used that up. And what stage is this? I can't see because the um, green box of recording with Procaster, by the way I've switched recording software to Procaster because it's a better screen recorder than Cam Studio. Oh, I'm dead. Um, yeah, I can't see the stage number. I don't know how late I am in the game. But I'm definitely not to the people I consider bosses. Like, there are three stages of bosses, so I'm probably going to have to continue, which would be so embarrassing. I had to continue in my other recording, too. I guess it's just hard to talk and play this game or something. 
Surprise! <laughs> oh, that's the point icon. It massively raises your combo count. You usually get a free dragon out of it, like, right when you pick it up. Or a boss attack, if you prefer. I should use slow mode more, but um, I like keeping my mobility. Oh, that was me watching the top of the screen because I was trying to actually combo stuff. Yeah, right at the beginning of the match, I definitely like, pay attention and only shoot when I need to. Then after just a few moments, it's like, yeah, constantly hit the attack button, you'll get points, and eventually win. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, one thing I wanted to note is the more times you die on a given stage, the worse the computer player will play, because... The instructions say they get exhausted. Okay, I consider Medicine one of the boss class characters. So, I'm getting up there. Plus, I believe it said stage 7 right in the middle of the screen where I could see it. <sighs> yeah, due to the um, enemy getting worse at the game, though, I don't think I've ever beaten the final stages without using up a life. But then once I have used up a life, I generally win in just one more try. So it's kinda interesting, I guess. Yeah, seriously, why am I playing as Tay? I'm pretty sure there are stronger characters out there. <laughs> well, I mean, even without picking somebody boss class. By the way, um... Oh, cool. Free stuff. Let's just... Send a couple level twos in addition. Um, oh man, I had something I was going to say. Oh, um, if you were looking at the character select screen, you might have noticed that there's only one Prism River on there. That's just because it's story mode. You can play all the Prism River sisters. Other than that, I think everybody is playable in story and versus. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do there. It's like, I'm not even moving. I'm not going to dodge that at all. <laughs> Oh, hey. Three and two while well, a boss is going on. Oh, dang, they killed the boss. But the bullets were still there, so... Oh, dang. Whoa, that worked magically. <sighs> okay, constant traits. <laughs> Oh dang. Oh yeah, also, um, when you get reduced to your last hit point, it always gives you full gauge instead of one gauge. That's kind of interesting. Or rather, your last half hit point, if you want to measure out of five.
All right. Oh, and since I beat medicine without dying, I think I'll actually beat this game in one credit, unlike my other recording, which was, like, so incredibly embarrassing. Because it was easy mode, even. <laughs> um... Yeah. For some reason, I kept looking over where the wins counter is for my lives. And, um... Yeah, there aren't any lives over there. Surprise! Wins counter is top right, they're like these pink flowers. So yeah, I thought I didn't have any lives. Even though I'd only died once, and you start with two. So, I just don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> Those are coins that the enemy is launching, by the way. Because she's essentially, um, Charon. Ow. Oh, dang! Took a hit just rushing up to try and release my charge attack on Lily so that I would, could actually kill her before she went off the screen, and it didn't work out. Um, yeah. I used to call them CDs. <laughs> Doom CDs! Hey, that would go great with disc kind. Which is a completely... Most people don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do 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 Uh, yeah, I'm out of things to say, and I'm interested in winning. Oh yeah! Actually, I do have one more thing to say. Um, when you go into a next round, you keep your charge from the end of the previous round. And also, I think whoever died does get gauge for taking damage, even though it was the hit that killed them. So, that's a thing that can help you out. Yeah, now she's just, like, dying all over the place, because she has a win. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually, like, see the win counter. Besides that, that, like, one moment when I'm watching the you won cutscene. <sighs> I need to focus. Like, as in, use slow mode. And also, pay attention. Because I, like, didn't even react to that attack that hit me. Episode final.
<sighs> Let's rock. <laughs> or more likely, die once and then just win. But she said heaven or hell, and so I was thinking of Guilty Gear suddenly. Duel 1. Let's rock! <laughs> By the way, in case it's not clear what those um, Vortex things are doing, they make every white bullet that passes through them throw off a, um, thing. So I should probably not be using as many fairy attacks as I normally use, because white bullets tend to lead to you getting murdered. Much like if you use the wrong towels. That's a reference to a comedian I've watched. There are the tells you want to use if you want to dry off, and the tells you want to use if you get want to get killed. <laughs> so those are the fancy tells, and they're just there so you can look at them. <laughs> uh, who said that anyway? I don't know. Oh, I should not have gotten so aggressive. <sighs> Why am I still using a ton of fairy attacks? Oh yeah, because I'm just like playing without paying attention. <sighs> I'm like, I should charge up and do something. Because I see like the gauge ready level 2, I'm like, oh, I should use it. <laughs> hey, cool, free boss attack. Let's use a level 3 with it. Ah, ow. Let's see, what did red do? Is that... Oh, that's the white bullets one. <laughs> it's like the least useful one on this stage. There's also one that says EX attack that throws off several EX attacks. Ah, I got killed. Dead parrot. Even though I'm bunny, because I don't have moon pearl. <sighs> that is clearly the reason this character is a bunny by the way. It's not that she's from the moon, it's that she doesn't have the moon pearl. Oh, I should use some gauge because it's at level 4. Yeah, and I guess you've been able to watch the other side of the screen and see what people can do. Also, I don't know if having a longer first fight will lead to the enemy being more tired in the second fight. It's just a thing I don't know. <laughs> or maybe if you, like, manage to deal more damage before you die. I also think that the um, enemy effectiveness doesn't drop off as much if you're on a higher difficulty. Although there's also just more there to begin with. Oh, there. I won easily. <laughs> so silly. So, yeah. That was this game. I believe I explained it sufficiently. I guess I... I don't... I don't know if the creator's okay with showing the endings to games this old. It's probably all over the internet by now anyway, though. I remember he had a thing about you have to earn the ending before you can see it, so you shouldn't show it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't really want to black it out, though, because that would feel mean.
Uh, okay. This is probably my favorite in the series just because burst mode. It's pretty great to be able to play against a friend. And... I don't know. The gameplay is solid enough. And that's all the time I have. See ya!